first day. As you can see, it's sort of partially moved in. Won't be fully moved in for a few more days though. I'm mostly cleaning today. <laughs> Great. Great fun. Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. So as you can probably already tell, it's going to be a little bit of a more unusual one today. Um, just because it's the final part of my, my home ownership journey and um, most of what I've got is still images and little video clips that I've taken throughout the process uh, via my phone. So I felt that you know, it'd be nice to just sort of share that with you guys. Um, and this felt like the best best format for kind of doing that. Um, so some of these will be images and, and uh, video clips that you might have seen before in previous uh, things that I've done in regards to where I am with the flat and what's going on with it. Um, but some of it's also going to be new to you guys. So with that said, um, I will sort of talk through a bit about you know how everything has gone um so one of the first things i did when i moved in and uh, it was kind of a priority was replace the boiler that was here um because it didn't work <laughs> it was ancient and it didn't work um so obviously that was a bit of a major problem so after well so since i was replacing the boiler anyway and I was planning to put a wall in, um, the radiator that was in the big uh, living room space had to be moved. Um, and because I was moving that one anyway, it just made sense to replace all the radiators. So literally the first thing that was done was uh, the updating of the central heating, um, which felt pretty good. And that was done relatively soon after I moved in. I think it was within the first, I think it's been the first week which was good <laughs> so I wasn't sure how much uh, how much longer I really wanted to be taking a very shallow bath to wash myself um especially because I had to keep filling it with the kettle because like no hot water means no hot water <laughs> um so after that was sort of done before anything uh, could really be be done or sorted um the wall had to go up in uh the the then open plan um uh, living dining room area so that was quite interesting that whole sort of process and it took quite a while um for it to sort of happen um but it was definitely it's definitely worth it i feel like it's it's been worth it i mean i feel like the living room is a nice nice size living room i mean i'm sat in the living room now whilst i'm recording this because um my gerbils are out playing and i want to sort of let them continue to be out playing. I didn't want to put them away. Um, but yeah, the, the living room feels like a really nice big living room. Uh, it's really, it's not like so big that it's uncomfortable, but it's not like a cramped space. It's it's nice. It's a really nice balanced space. Um, and then the kitchen feels like a proper kitchen. Uh, I'm no longer fighting to get doors open because there's no space for my fridge and freezer and my, my, you know, whatever. So it's a really nice big kitchen. It's a really nice big living room. You don't lose anything really from having the wall up. If anything, you gain, uh, which you wouldn't think should be the case, but it is, and I'm really happy that it is. Um, and as I said, I really like the space that I've, I've created um because they're obviously i had the wall professionally done <laughs> I, I can't build walls <laughs> um and you know i feel although it was a long process because they they kept coming back on my days off um i feel like it was definitely worth it and, and i'm pretty happy with with the result um so after the wall went off up obviously then decorating could start happening um, and one of the things uh, done during the decorating process was to remove what was left of the laminate laminate ah, i'm not sure what you call it so the tongue groove stuff the wood stuff that is uh currently now in the kitchen and in my my little entry porch um my little entryway 
it was a case of um, what was down in the living room area um, had been cut up uh, in certain areas uh, for the new central heating to go in um, and for the wall to go up as well. So it obviously was we weren't left. I wasn't left with enough to uh, sort of recomplete the floor. Um, so what we what we did have, we took and we shoved it out into the kitchen area and we shoved it into the uh, hall area. My mum helped me helped me do that. And anybody who tells you that once that that sort of tongue and groove stuff comes up, it doesn't want to go back down. Yeah, it doesn't. It it was a quite a bit of a hassle. Um, and anyone who's watched my uh, decorating um, the, the vlog I did for the, the week that I spent decorating will know that took up a large chunk of the week, a lot more of the week than we would have liked. So although the living room got completed, uh, the bedroom was left untouched um, and the kitchen, apart from the floor, was also left completely untouched. So you, um, I ended up in this sort of situation where I had one room pretty much ready for the carpet to go down and the other rooms not. <laughs> um, so it was a little bit disappointing that I didn't get much more done that particular week but you've got to go with the time that you've got and you've got to work with the time that you've got and yeah it, I was I was happy with what we managed to achieve even if I was still a little bit disappointed that it maybe wasn't as much as I would have liked. Um, Having said that, decorating the, the little hallway and decorating the, the bedroom, um, which was the, the sort of the next big thing, was done in a day and it was quite good. It's quite fun. I did a lot of the, the prep work uh, before the mums arrived. Um, and once they got here, literally we could just crack on, we could get it sorted, we could get it done, we could get it finished. Um, and I was very happy once that was sort of finished because, you know, that that meant I could start seriously thinking about ordering a carpet. I'd already picked it at that point. I already had it being held by um, Carpet Right. <laughs> um, so I, I already knew like what was what was coming. It's just a case of getting everything done. Um, so like the final thing that I felt should be done before getting the carpet was painting of the kitchen. Um, just because I did, I didn't want to sort of risk ruining the new carpet uh, because I knew the painting the kitchen was going to be a bit of a tricky one um, mostly because you had the combination of the old plaster and, uh, and the new plaster and although it wasn't like a huge space to do yeah um, I, I knew um, I, I wanted to get that sort of done first um, unfortunately <laughs> after I did the undercoat um, there was a bit of a leak in in the ceiling, um, and that had to be that had to be fixed and that had to be repaired. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't. It, it wasn't my responsibility. I I am leaseholder, so as soon as like the leak came in, um, and I was pretty certain from like where it was coming in that it wasn't the pipe work. Um, I got hold of. The freehold management that I'm with um, and let them know what the problem was. They sent some people out to confirm that it was definitely the roof. Once they'd confirmed that it was definitely the roof, they organised getting it fixed. And once it was fixed, I was able to finish decorating the kitchen. Um, and as soon as I like, as soon as I knew that I could paint, do the final coat of paint on the kitchen, um, that's when I phoned up to to get the carpet delivered. <laughs> The, the carpet delivered and laid, um, which in and of itself was a bit more of a story than it should have been. Uh, so my mum had put down some underflooring stuff. Um, I, I'm sure you, I, I think it's the, the last video from this, the last vlog from this. Um, I showed that I haven't been, had a proper floor in here for a while. <laughs> um, but one corner there was sort of like a patch missing because uh, it had been thrown away because it just obviously wasn't, uh, it was too broken up to actually be used. And the replacement stuff that got put down, um, my mum did a bit with silly, she put a nail in and it went straight through my main gas pipe. <laughs> um, 
So when the, the carpet people came out, they were like, oh, there seems to be a bit of a smell of gas coming from here. So um, that same day I had, did have to get my uh, the gas pipe fixed. Um, fortunately, the, the people who, the, the carpet right people were really good. Uh, they laid the carpet in the uh, bedroom and then they came back later in the day to, to finish the job, um, sort of going off and doing other jobs in the meantime. And they, they'd finished by, I think, about half past four. Um, so they, they'd initially turned up at like about ten past nine in the morning, half past nine, I think, in the morning. Um, and then they came back, um, I think, just after four o'clock and it didn't take them long. So they'd done a lot of the prep work. Um, it was just literally a case of putting back some of the things that had to be taken up um, in order to fix the pipe and then laying the carpet um, in both the little hallway and in the living room because it's all the same carpet through there um, and yeah then then it was then it was quite you know exciting to sort of just get my stuff moved back in um, to, to where it was supposed to be and yeah, it was it was a bit of a day, it was a bit of a hassle. Um, I have to admit, I ended up feeling quite unwell the following day. <laughs> um, I think it's just the stress of it all, um, more than anything else, probably. But yeah, yeah, it was it was good. It was good once the the, the carpet had sort of finally gone down and finally gone in. Um, it meant I could finally take the protective plastic off of the. Uh, windows in my kitchen door um, and I was able to put the little transfer things that I purchased um, onto the door and they look really good. Um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah it, it feels it feels nice it feels like a proper home now and it's um, and it does just feel like my home. Um, I've, I've also created a nice little play area for the girls um, which I have to admit does look quite good. Uh, my mum sort of ordered the Perspex for me um, and then I just had to assemble it once it arrived. And I think they like it. So yeah, it, it, it feels good. It feels really good to sort of finally have my stuff out and for everything to think to sort of feel like a proper home at, at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not quite sure what else to say. Um, so I did do one little more sort of video bit because um, I was filming it on my phone, so it's been like little weird little snippy bits, um, but they sort of flow together, um, and that will give you like the the full view of what the flat looks like. And I think that's what I'm going to finish this on. Um, so before I allow it to sort of go into that bit. Um, I'm going to have to decide what the next vlog is going to be and I don't think I've got it written on my calendar yet. Um, so I'm just going to come up with a topic <laughs> off the cuff because why not? Um, I guess I could make the next one a fan fluation. I haven't done a fan fluation for a while. So the topic of the next one will be a fan flu. Uh, so I'm ho I hope you're all looking forward to that. Um, should be interesting either way. Um, so yeah, the, the topic of the next one will be a fan fluation. Um, I'm going to leave you with my final little video clip for, uh, or video clips for how the is looking now. Um, hope you guys are reasonably happy and excited, um, as I am that I have managed to finally get everything completed, um, or as <laughs> it's completed it is now. Still some finishing touches left to do, but apart from that, yeah, I'm I'm in a really good place. I, I feel like I I'm actually living here. So as I said, I'm gonna leave you with those last few final video clips. Um I hope you guys have found this interesting. Um I hope you guys are as excited for me as, as I am. Uh, <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. See ya. So obviously there's still some little finishing touches I need to do. But other than that, this is how the flat is looking now. It's taken a lot of work to get here. Um, 
bearing in mind I moved in in April and it is now September um, so in on the one hand it's gone really quickly and on the other hand it feels like it's taken forever but it's been worth it <laughs> it feels like it's looking absolutely amazing at this point um, so even though there are still like some little touches left to do I I finally feel like I live here so that's the important bit right <laughs> that I actually live here um, so yeah if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya